Let's try again. Let's try that shit again. I think we have to be fast, actually. In all respects. We gotta jump. Oh, jump. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I rule. Not anymore. Holy shit, this is mad. Is this the right way? No. Is it? It is! Well, I'm stuck in that, you know. They've boarded it up for us, so it must be the right way. Oh, no. Oh! God, oh my god, you. Never mind, we can try again. This game has got Ill unlimited continues. It plays out as a story mode, you see. Alright, here's where it went wrong. How am I... Uh, excuse me, how am I meant to do that? Okay. A absolute fail about around here. How did I do it last time? Alan, will you answer me please, you know? Since we are best of friends, you know? Since like, never. It's a bit of a big gap to jump across, isn't it? Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Holy frigid. Jump, jump. Oh. Jump. Eleanor. 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 You're a feminine Alan. You know you are. Okay, third time success. Third time is a lucky charm for me, really. It really is. Oh, finally, Barry. And we've reached the wall lit room. Oh no, the wall lit elevator. Okay, is this our stop finally? I've been waiting all my life for this. It was active during the Second World War. They operated here back then. They must have built this. Thanks for the history, Sarah. Much appreciated. This place was like a place in Necrovision. Or rather the darkness. I didn't let her speak, I just she said yes. And we did it. Oh, this has something to do with the clicker, doesn't it? I don't want to climb up the ladder to change them because it's very late and I'm tired. And if you break it, I won't have to do that anymore. The page was autobiographical, a memory from my childhood. But I didn't write this. It was a page written by Thomas Zane. None of them were supposed to exist anymore. Alan, seven years old, would fight sleep to the bitter end. When he did sleep, he soon woke up, screaming, the nightmares fresh in his mind. One evening, his mother, sitting by his bed, offered him an old light switch. She called it the clicker, and flicking the switch would turn on a magical light that would drive the beast away. To imbue the talisman with all possible power, she added that it had been given to her by Alan's father. Alan never knew him, and anything of his took on mythical proportions in his mind. With the clicker firmly in his hand, Alan finally slept like a baby. Now, almost 30 years later, Alan 
thought is this. As he stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, the clicker in his hand, he took a deep breath and jumped. My mind swirled. I'd given the clicker to Alice, yet it was here. Zane had written it into existence, in a story I had written. I can get to her now. I can finish this. Wow, like that part of the game was like most memorable for me. The clicker just reminds me of some kind of a childish, childish dish fairy tale. And here it is now, the Poets of the Fall. Marvelous group. So, the end of episode 5. Yay! I think episode 6 is quite short though, isn't it? Well, as much as I would like to listen to the Poets of the Fall right now, I think we should just skip it. Let's go ahead. Previously on Alan Wake, I wrote a horror story that has come true. Thomas Zane did the same in the 70s. You will go no further. If I continue like the Dark Presence wants me to, the story I'm writing won't save Alice. It's a horror story. No one will survive. You know Zane, Thomas Zane, you're the Lady of the Light in the song. He left something behind to help me. The clicker. Alan thought of this as he stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, the clicker in his hand. He took a deep breath and jumped. I can get to her now. I can finish this. Yeah, is that meant to be his latest novel, Departure? My god. He looks like me when I wake up. Well, am I referring to him as shit? Uh, he's making me want to go to bed as well. I'm rather tired. Probably out last night with Barry getting pissed, as he did with the Anderson farm. Yeah, that's what they do most of the time. When they're pissed and they're feeling like shit, they wear sunglasses so no one can see their eyes. Maybe you need some good time, Alice, um, Alan. That might help you, you know. He looks a lot more older, doesn't he, for some reason. The sunglasses made the world look bearable. Now I could keep my eyes open without feeling like a vampire in the sun. I think you are a vampire, Alan. You look like a vampire movie. You need some fangs or something. I suppose the painkiller is going to be here. Medicine cabinet. There you go, you're all sorts now, Alan. You should thank me. You are awake. You're rather right awake. Why can't we take a shower? I'm sure he stinks like shit. Cause he's been boozing all night. I'll take a bath. That would be suitable. There was a message waiting for me on the machine. Don't think there's anything around the house because we searched here already. My god, is Barry annoying and you knew him like two years ago? Come on man, find some new friends. You're not talking about my Alice, are you? Because I'll smack you up, Barry. Oh my god, I love this show. Even though I don't know where it is. Alright, oh he's being interviewed by someone on TV. There is he. My god, he should have gone on Jerry Springer or something. He even looks like a prick on the TV. Just be straight with him, um, presenter. Tell him his book is shit. An utter disgrace. He uses way too much metaphors. He talks about himself constantly. 
And he's an asshole. <laughs> well, well, oh god. No, he looks to be an asshole on the TV if you don't agree. If I was watching that on my TV, I'd throw the remote control to the TV. Now that guy, that Alan Wake on the TV, he looks like the one from Poets of the Fool. If you've seen the music video of War, which is based on Alan Wake's soundtrack, then he, that's him. The actual actor there. I'm guessing because he looks like him, doesn't he? 